Oh, hey Mia, how's it going? Oh, really? You're thinking about expanding the lemonade stand? Wow, you had a meeting with investors? How'd it go? Not well? What happened? Oh, that sounds not great. What do you think went wrong? Yeah, I could see how having a business plan might have helped things go better, but it's okay. This is your first time starting a business. We all make mistakes. The key is to learn from them. Yeah, we can definitely help you with that business plan. Hey there, as you may have heard, today we're going to be discussing business plans. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to answer the following questions. What is a business plan and why is it important? What are the components of a business plan? What makes a business plan effective? You should also start to think about our big picture question. Why are well-written business plans essential documents for businesses? Now, you might have the best idea for a business, and you might be committed to being successful. But ideas and commitment can only get you so far. You've probably heard some version of the saying, failing to plan is planning to fail. And business plans are essential steps to business success. A business plan is a written document that outlines the goals, strategies, and operations of a business. But why is this document so important? Business plans help entrepreneurs set their objectives, map out strategies for the business, identify potential issues that the business may face, and help attract investors if necessary. Plus, you can have people with more experience or expertise look over your business plan and give you feedback. All right, let's take a quick second to check in. Your friend is looking to start a dog walking business. They don't need outside investment and they're the only employee. Why should they still write a business plan? Now, while more complex business operations are going to have longer, more detailed business plans, most business plans follow the same general format. Part of the activity that goes along with this lesson involves helping Mia organize her business plan. Use the graphic organizer in the PDF to take notes about the characteristics of different parts of business plans. This will help you as you work on Mia's business plan. The first section of the business plan is the executive summary. This section provides the highlights of the business plan and is designed to get the audience's attention. These should be written in such a way that the person reading your business plan says, I really want to hear more about this. After the executive summary, business plans contain a company description. This is a brief overview about what the company will offer and who the target customer is going to be. And just like the executive summary, this is designed to have the reader be eager to look at more detailed information. After these general sections, business plans contain a market analysis that provides insights on different conditions that your business is going to face. First, there is an industry analysis. This discusses the products and services that are offered in a specific industry. It also outlines and identifies different economic, political, or regulatory issues that businesses entering the field may face. Secondly, you're going to want to include a target market analysis. A target market analysis identifies the profile of your ideal consumer and identifies how many of these consumers are in the market. 
Finally, you're going to do a competitor analysis. This identifies who your primary competition is, what they do well, and what they can do better. Once you've done a market analysis, you should outline the company's organization and management structure. This section describes how the business is going to be set up and who will be responsible for operations, marketing, human resources, and finance. For more complex organizations, it will also outline the different departments and who will manage and oversee each. After outlining the corporate structure, you're going to want to start outlining your operations, detailing the products and services you plan to offer. For example, if you're opening a bakery, you may want to list the kinds of breads and pastries you plan to sell. What are you planning to produce and sell? How do you plan to produce it? What is a competitive price for your product? You also want to discuss how your product is different from your competitors' products. You also need to include your marketing and sales strategy that discusses how you plan to make people aware of your business. This section should explain how you plan to let your target customer know why they should buy your product, where they can buy your product, and what sort of promotions you might offer. This is also a great place to describe how you plan to track and analyze the effectiveness of your marketing and sales strategy, as well as how you might adjust based on what you learn. You know those surveys you sometimes get when buying a good? The ones that ask where you heard about the product? Well, that's one way businesses track the effectiveness of their marketing strategies. If you need investment or access to money, your funding request would follow your marketing strategy. This is where you describe how much money you need to start operations and how you plan to pay the money back or provide a return on investment. Remember, banks and investors want to profit too. Finally, you're going to include your financial projections. This is the section where you bring all of the information together to show the potential profitability of your business. You try to project revenues based on the number of target customers and the sales price. Then you consider your costs from production to payroll to paying back debt. This allows you to project when you should start turning a profit and what that profit might look like. Okay, I know that was quite a bit of information, but let's take a minute to answer a quick question. Why do you think business plans need to have all of this information? All right, now you're probably wondering what makes a really effective business plan. Well, there are a few things you definitely want to pay attention to. First, make sure that your writing is clear and easy to follow. You can have the best idea, incredible analysis, and a solid plan, but you must be able to clearly communicate all of this. And this is especially true if you are looking for investment or other help. And fair or unfair, this is the type of writing where you want to follow all the rules, conventions, and etiquette of the language you are preparing your business plan in. You know, proper capitalization and punctuation, checking your spelling, and maybe having someone go over it for you. Secondly, you want to make sure that you are including realistic financial projections. Do your costs make sense based on your operations plans? Does your revenue match the potential of your market? Your business plan should also show a solid understanding of the market conditions you hope to operate in. Can the market support your business? Are you able to offer a better product or a lower price than your competitors? Is there a future in the product or service you plan to offer? And finally, you need to have a solid marketing plan. It should balance letting enough people know about your business while allowing you to deliver on the product or service you are trying to sell. 
Okay, our last check-in for the day. Take a look at this section from Mia's business plan. Mia's Lemonade Stand is an exciting new growth opportunity in the local lemonade market with no direct competitors and thousands of potential customers looking for a cool, refreshing beverage option. And as the only lemonade stand, we will have complete control of the beverage market, anticipating that within six months, our sales will top 2,500 glasses of lemonade at $5 a glass bringing our weekly revenue to $12,500 with costs of 50 cents per glass, making our profit $10,000 per week. We anticipate that our reputation and customer recommendation will allow us to expand our business rapidly with no additional advertising. What are three problems with this portion of Mia's business plan? Let's take a moment to recap. We learned that a business plan is a written document that outlines the goals, strategies, and operations of a business. A business plan should cover all aspects of the business, from operations to finance to human resources to marketing. And in order for these business plans to be effective, they should be clear and concise include realistic financial projections, have a solid understanding of the market, and have a strong sales and marketing strategy. Today and tomorrow, you'll be working on helping Mia organize her business plan and working with business plans of your own. When we meet again, we'll be discussing issues that employees face in the market. But until then, keep investing in yourself one lesson at a time. See you next time. Hey.